Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 29th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Kim and I started out around 6 a.m. at Burger Park because we wanted to see if the Swainson's Hawk was still around, which it was. Looking out towards the parkway, which is here, it was perched in this first bear tree. So not a very good view with binoculars, but I went back to the car and grabbed my scope and we were able to watch it for a few minutes before it flew off. Afterwards, we walked around the park looking for warblers and other songbirds. Here we have a warbler that's completely yellow with some red streaking to the upper breast. This is a male yellow warbler. Here's a warbler that has a yellow face and yellow on the upper breast with yellow spectacles around the eye. But as we look more to the wing, we see a more grayish wing with white wing bars. This is a pine warbler. Here's a warbler that can be identified just on its behavior, climbing up and down vines and thin trunks. And I was going to start off the description by saying this is a black and white warbler, but that's actually the name. This was our first of season black and white warbler. Here we have a warbler with a yellowish face and a black throat, a little bit of black streaking down the sides. This is a black throated green warbler, another new one for the season. And as we got back to our cars, we had a nice look at this pileated woodpecker flying by. From Burger Park, we had a total of 44 species. Next, we birded the Lakeview Church Trail, and we hit one small pocket of warblers, which was mostly yellow rumps, but we also had a few Nashville warblers. At the Church Trail, we had 27 species. Next, we headed over to Braddock Bay Park to start the Hawk Watch, and today was overcast the whole day with a moderate northeasterly wind, so after yesterday's huge day, less favorable conditions today and only a small flight. Here we have a water bird with thin pointed wings. We see a black head and also a black band around the neck and trailing legs. This is a common loon in breeding plumage, and sometimes we see them migrating high overhead like this. Here we have an all gray bird with a body shaped like a cigar and very thin wings. This is a chimney swift. Here we have a hawk with a long tail and long wings with rounded tips. We should be thinking excipiter. We see orange barring underneath which tells us adult and we see a very large head which tells us this is an adult Cooper's hawk. Here we have a swallow that's white underneath with a lot of dark red to the face and throat and we see a pale forehead. This bird also had an orange rump. This is a cliff swallow. Our entertainment for the day was thousands of double-crested cormorants hanging out on the rocks of the barrier island as well as feeding in the bay. Here we have part of the group flying out over the lake. And here's another view of that feeding frenzy on the bay. So the cormorants that are flying are the more obvious black areas, but each of these little black dots is the neck and head of a cormorant sticking up out of the water. And in addition to the cormorants, there were also a lot of galls and Caspian terns, as well as a few bald eagles joining in to the feeding frenzy. Must be some sort of fish activity. Maybe some of you have a suggestion of what that might be that's doing some sort of activity right now that would draw in so many fish-eating birds. Here we have two immature bald eagles that were chasing each other across the bay and gave us a really nice look. I especially like this one, which is getting pretty close to adult plumage. You can see that white head and white tail, but it still has a lot of white on the back as well. And here's the other bald eagle, and it looks like it's molting a lot of feathers in the tail. You can see the longer, more worn ones, and then the shorter, fresh ones growing in. Here's a large bird that's two-toned underneath with a small red head. This is a turkey vulture, and we had a few dozen turkey vultures today. Occasionally, when it would brighten up, some vultures would get up and cross the bay, but overall, not a huge migration. Here we have a nice comparison of two sparrow species that are sometimes confused with each other. On the left, we have an adult white-crowned sparrow, and on the right, we have a white-throated sparrow. And I'm going to point out a few of the most obvious differences. Sometimes people just look for the black and white stripes on the crown. And if you're only looking at that, you might get them confused. But there's some major differences. So if we look at the white crown sparrow, if you look at the face and the throat and the upper breast, it's all pretty uniform gray. The throat is slightly lighter in color, but not a lot. Compare that to the white throated sparrow, which has a very obvious white throat to it. Also notice on the white-throated sparrow, the yellow patches above the eye that the white-crowned sparrow does not have. At the Hawkwatch today, we had 59 species. 
and I made an eBird trip report of the day, and we had a total of 81 species. I had three new species for the season today, which were Black and White Warbler, Nashville Warbler, and Black-Throated Green Warbler. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 31 turkey vultures, one bald eagle, three sharp-shinned hawks, two broad-winged hawks, one American kestrel, and one merlin, for a total of 39 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 43,687, and the season total to 51,807. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy with periods of rain, thunder possible, a high in the low 50s, and light north-northeast winds. I would only expect minimal to light migration with those unfavorable conditions. Wednesday is looking cloudy early and then partly cloudy with a high in the upper 50s, winds northeast of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Expect light migration. And Thursday is looking partly cloudy with a high in the low 60s and west-northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Those are decent conditions, would expect moderate migration. All right, well, another great day of birding, getting out at sunrise and getting a quick look at the Swainson's hawk and picking up some warblers there at Burger Park, getting some more walks in, and then getting over to the hawk watch where it was a bit of a slower day than all the craziness from the past couple days, and really fun watching that double-crusted cormorant feeding frenzy out on Braddock Bay. I hope you're able to join us soon out at the hawk watch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.